What is up guys, Danny from DK Tech, back at it again with a new video, and today we're gonna be checking out my 2021 setup. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting with the desk, I have a 59 inch Linman tabletop with an Alex drawn one end to function as a legs and the other is attached to a Calyx bookcase. This setup is just perfect for me since I don't really have a large room and having the bookcase and drawers help a lot with keeping things organized and out of the way so I can at least try to have a clean workspace most of the time. You're probably going to be asking why my table top and drawer don't match the shelf. And that's simply because Ikea didn't have a matching set at the time, so I just went what they had because I didn't want to come back. Quickly going over to my chair, I have the Herman Miller Aeron. I was able to buy two of these for 400 total, and I sold one of them the next day for 400, so essentially, I got a free Aeron. This one's older and not in the most perfect condition, but it's still super comfortable and has no mechanical issues. And you might be asking again, why do I have the arms removed? And that's just because I sit really close to my desk and arms just always get in the way and I don't really use them at all. I prefer to have my elbows and my forearms resting on the desk. Moving on to my two displays. First, I have the Acer 24 and a half inch XF250Q as my main. And then on the side in portrait mode, I have the Asus PB278Q 27 inch. Both are mounted to my desk to clear up space because mounts just tend to be bulky and they collect dust so easily so I prefer to have both of them mounted. The Acer is 240Hz with the 1 millisecond response time and it's just amazing for gaming and considering I bought it certified refurbished from Acer on eBay for $180 it's definitely a steal. The Asus monitor is 1440p and I have it in portrait mode for a few reasons. The first is just space so that I can actually reach around back and get things from the bookcase because if I had it normally, it would just be blocking my way. And the second is it just makes long web pages or textbooks super easy to read since it's 27 inches. It's just amazing. I could see entire pages really clearly and it's great for browsing Reddit. I got this monitor for $100 cash a few years back, so another great deal. For peripherals, I updated quite a few of these recently, and we'll probably just start with the mouse. I have the Razer Viper Ultimate, and I've tried so many mice, this just is definitely the best blend between being light, being wireless, and having just a great shape. For my keyboard, I have a mostly custom build. I have the Clueboard 66 with Zelio's 65 gram switches, and for the keycaps, I kept it simple with the GMK white on black. And as well, I have a few artisans. This is really the perfect board for me and I really love the 65% form factor as it's really the smallest you can get while still being very functional for everyday use. And since I know a few people might ask, here's a little sound test. My mouse pad is the Glorious XXL Stealth, which I picked up last Black Friday. It's simple, plain, and perfect. There aren't really any other ways to describe it. Now for audio, for headphones I use the Sennheiser HD 58X, plugged into the Fio E10K DAC and amp, and I have the Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers that I got for a steal of 50. These are just outclassing anything in the Logitech range for the same price. Finally, I use the ModMic wireless for Discord calls and things of that nature. Some other miscellaneous things I use often are the Logitech C922, as many of my classes require webcam these days, and the webcam sits on top of a USB desk lamp, which was another one of my favorite great space-saving additions. I also have this wireless mechanical numpad that I use for Discord and to control my music in FUBAR 2000 because I don't want to pay for Spotify Premium. My PC has been through quite a few iterations since I last made a video on it, but to go over my current specs, I have a 9700K, 32 gigabytes of 3200 MHz RAM from Crucial, an NZXT X53, a Nasrock Z390 Gaming Phantom Mini ITX motherboard, that's a mouthful, two SSDs, one being a 256 gigabyte M.2 and another two terabyte M.2 drive, an EVGA 1080 Ti SC Black Edition, a Corsair SF600 power supply, and two slim Noctua fans as intake for the GPU. All of this is housed in the magnificent NK M1. I really love the small form factor of this case. It's just perfect in every way, and I definitely cannot go back to normal ATX cases. Now this build might not have the newest parts, but it's definitely still a beast, and since I play mostly esports titles, I still am able to get over 240 FPS in most games. It'll be a while till I upgrade anyways, since nobody can get their hands on new parts. Overall, I've come a long way from where I started, and it makes me really proud to see the progress that I have made. 
I might not have the flashiest setup for the newest parts, and I don't have RGB vomit everywhere, but I have some damn good hardware and I'm really proud to call it my own. I'll try to link and organize as much of the things I showed in the video down below in the description if you're interested in checking them out. So that is it guys, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Danny from DK Tech signing off. You're finishing this video. Peace out.